Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm the crazy cat lady here coming right back at you. How are you doing today? Okay, <clears throat> today, <laughs> today I am going, I haven't mentioned this at all because I didn't know <clears throat> if um, they were going to call me or not. But today, I am going to do an orientation for a job, um, Home Depot. I personally didn't apply at Home Depot. I was going to wait until I lost weight, get myself healthy, um, fix my knee, and then go get a job. Um, and try to survive on the stuff that I'm doing. Um, by selling paparazzi, which I have to do uh, more lives on. But uh, my husband um, <clears throat> did it for me, and... I mean, they're giving me decent hours. They're pretty cool. I'm going to be a cashier and all. I was debating on it yesterday if I should go, if I shouldn't go. But we, you know, really need the money. And even if I make, I don't, you know, because I know that the stores gives you a flexible schedule and they don't really, um give you like all the days that you say you're available so i'm gonna try it out with my knee because i did make an appointment to get my knee um with my doctor and my knee doctor my orthopedic to um talk about surgery so i need it i need it done i have no choice my knee is probably a lot worse than, I don't, you know, I have to, we have to, um, most likely he's going to want to take x-rays. And I need to have this done in July. My husband, we took it off so we can go to Tennessee, but I have a feeling that we're, we won't be able to do it. And then I think this is more important than going to Tennessee right now as much as I would love to go and it was my dream to go there and to see Gatlinburg, I think I'll postpone the trip until next year. Or maybe even by the end of the year. Who knows? But postpone the trip and fix myself first. Um, because I want to be in good health. Um, I mean, I... You know, by the doctors, I'm in good health. But I'm talking about, I want to be able to walk. You know, I want to be able to hike. I want to be able to um, enjoy the trip. Or go walking around without huffing and puffing. And, and I want the energy and everything. And unfortunately, <clears throat> you know, your girl is not in the best of shape. Um, I'm not looking to be skinny mini, and I know a lot of you like me the way I am, but I need to definitely, let me put you over here, definitely get myself to lose some pounds and, uh, you know, feel good. Because... When I went to Disney, I was 245 or something like that around that area. And I was huffing and puffing and so tired at 245. And I was a lot younger. It was like, I think 2017 I went. Um, or no, 18. I think it was 2018 I went. One of those two, 2017 or 2018, I went, and I was 245. I was dying at 245, uh, walking around <laughs> all those parks. 
because we went to Disney, we went to Orlando, you know, for, yeah, no, it was crazy. Uh, oh, let me let the dog in, I'll be right back. My dog is so tall now that she goes underneath my legs and I'm short. <sighs> so, <laughs> I am short. But, yeah, so I want to, you know, like I was saying, get my knee fixed. And then I could feel better and, but anyways, getting back to the job part of it. I'm going to just try it um, and tell them right off the bat that I am, you know, going to looking into getting an operation for July. And it's up to them with if they want to keep me or not or whatever. But I have to do it. My knee is, is done. Oh, my husband's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. My husband called me. But like I was saying, um, you know, I'm going to be starting my j new job today at Home Depot. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, at least I can get out a little bit. But I'm just going to be truthful with them. I'm not going to lie or anything because I don't want any surprises for them. Um, and they can make their own decision to keep me or not, but I'm, you know, I don't know how I'm going to heal after my operation, uh, because everybody's different and plus I'm older and I might heal slower, but I'm just going to be truthful today. Oops, sorry. Be truthful today and just tell them that I am planning on getting talking with my doctor and getting a knee operation in july so because i i need to do this for myself and um i don't want to wait till i'm till i'm like falling on the ground to get it done so that's my plan because what's going to happen i don't want this to happen i don't want them not to know and then I decide then the doctor says okay Beth you are cleared to do a knee operation in the beginning of July I know it's around my birthday but um and then you know I know jobs they're like oh well no you can't go then that's because my birthday is around fourth you can't do that you're um uh you know um How could I say it? You know, you're, um, you know, other people are going that day or going that week. And I'm sorry, but I got to get this done. And I'm just going to end up quitting because I'm not going to get it done. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to be putting work first and my health last like I did in the past. I was supposed to get this done 2019, 18. Or 19, actually. He said, you got to get an operation. I'm like, no, I can't. I, I basically just started a job. I'm only a few months, uh, a year in. I need to, I can't take the time off. They're not going to allow me, blah, 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 blah. And I regret that. Because now I'm even worse. I have a hard time walking and everything. So, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, how could I say it? Um... ungrateful or anything about having a job i mean i i it, it's great i get the saturday off i'm i'm happy but i really wished that i could have started after i heal and sorry my phone my my uh um camera went off but i i just wish that my husband didn't apply for me um i just I wasn't even going to apply at Home Depot. I was going to go somewhere else. But um, they seem pretty nice. They seem cool. So I'm going to try it. But I am going to be right up front at the orientation with uh, the lady, Tammy. She's really cool. So 
I'm just going to be right up front saying that the end of this month, like I said, I'm going to see my orthopedic and I'm scheduling a knee operation in July, hopefully, and see what she says. But, but you know, I just don't want to start it and then have to quit and then have to go somewhere else for a job. And if they said, oh, okay, and they don't have a problem with it, cool. But I don't want to, in other words, lose that place for a job because of my knee. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know. I just, my plan was totally different. And I just wish that my husband hold off and didn't do this to me. Because my plan was to lose weight, get my knee operation, recover until I'm 100%, then go get a job. Because, you know, I am getting some income in, and if people do donate to my PayPal and everything, I'll, I'll definitely make it. And even if, you even if I have a job, it's only going to be a couple of days a week anyways. Um, because I'm going to, that's another thing I'm going to talk to her about that I can only work four hours because of my knee and stuff and, um, change my, change my, uh, because I can't stand on my knees for a very long time. It's, I can't. Um, so, and you, look at how I'm hobbling, you know, that's, this is, it's not good. So, what I'm going to do is do that and um, just work a couple of days a week. So, it is much appreciative. You know, I have, I'm going to link my PayPal um, either down here. I'm going to scroll it down here. And I'm going to put it in the description. So, um, all the money, you know, it helps support me to stay home, to give you content, and support me to actually give you the hauls that you want. And I love doing them. They're so much fun. And picking out, I had some great bathing suits that I really wanted to buy, but I don't have the money for them. So I know one of my friends, I'm giving a shout out, Jen, my um, ex sister in law she donated to my PayPal. I I am sincerely, sincerely grateful for that. And that money is going to be used for the bathing suit haul. So it is going to be put back into the channel. And maybe I'll take a little bit out if I need it or whatever. But I'm not going to. All the money that you donate is purely for like bathing suit hauls. You know, going places, uh, doing underwear hauls, lingerie haul, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that you guys want to see. And maybe um, do uh, makeup hauls and different things like that. But I am going to pour it back into the channel, definitely. Um, but I sincer sincerely appreciate it. I mean, I... Really, my dream is to stay home, be a creator, do go places to show you, and do my uh, start doing my paranormal channel. And it, and that's another thing is I wanted to edit, and I have a a, um, a paranormal one to edit. I wanted to edit it, and it takes time to edit. And you know now, like going back to work and stuff. Like she, they have me on today, tomorrow, Friday. Sunday, four days th this week, and it only leaves me Saturday to do anything, and <clears throat> I, you know, this Saturday, because I didn't get a phone call until Tuesday, um, on, uh, not Tuesday, Monday, but the th what I'm trying to get at is I really want to stay home and be a creator and, and give you some awesome content on this channel and my other channel because doing some spooky stuff, I have to travel. So definitely all the money that you sup give me support on is definitely, definitely going to go back into the channel. And also, um, what else? Also, um, because I had big plans, and now, because I got to go back to work, even for a few days a week, I can't do those plans. 
because of course you know when you have a real job when you have a job you have to ask for time off and all that and it's you're not free and I like your girl's been free I think well I did work 2020 no 2021 was it 20 or 21? No, I think 2020. Um, that was the last time I worked. And, you know, I'm blessed that I had this time off, you know, being with my family and my mom and taking care of her. But I really need to still stay home because she still needs to be taken care of. And I, you know, working at night is... But anyways, enough of that ranting. Um... <laughs> I uh, do appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos, watching the ads. It helps me tremendously. And when I do go live, definitely um, hit that super chat. Um, you know, no donation is too small. So, like, if you don't, that super chat is donation for the channel because I don't have memberships yet to do memberships. So, uh, to join memberships. Um, so that is like a donation to support my channel and, um, you know, even if it's $5, even if I, I don't care, that will help me get the money I need to create the content I need. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, stay afloat. So when I do go live, definitely, um, hit that, you know, hit that super chat and donate to your girl for your support because if you like all those hauls and stuff that's where i'll be taking the money from um and i had some awesome stuff i wanted to get oh from sheen i had some really nice bathing suits two pieces too mm -hmm. but today that's what i'm doing right now i'm having some coffee finishing up to have coffee and this little girl is wants to play i'm gonna be feeding her she, she, look at this and uh yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today and you're coming with this is a daily vlog basically and you're coming with i gotta put away dishes make breakfast and i'll show you what i'm gonna have for breakfast today so stay tuned okay um change of plans I decided that I am not going to the orientation. I can't. My knee is killing me right now, and I'm not even hardly standing up, only to do stuff. I told my husband that I cannot, cannot do it because... I feel my gut feeling, okay, my gut, gut feeling is telling me not to go, not to start something that basically I can't finish, that I'm going to have a hard time finishing. And I want to stick to my plan on getting um, better, feeling better, and... Um, and all that. I don't want. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ooh, what in the world? Let me see if I could put you over here. Okay, I'm not liking this at all. I'm trying to balance you all. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, and it went down town. Maybe over here. Okay, maybe that's. So, I don't want to start something that I can't finish. Because what's going to happen is that I'm going to stand there and regret my decision. I, I don't want to ruin the chance of ever getting back into Home Depot again. Um, she knows my circumstances with my mom. So, uh, I rather do it, like, cut my ties now before I start and just, you know, explain, you know, not only, you know, um, 
you know, my mom's getting worse. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't feel comfortable leaving her at home by herself with my husband and my son because, you know, they're not going to take care of her like I can take care of her, you know? So... I don't want to, um, I just don't feel comfortable, and, you know, it's just something my gut feeling is just telling me, don't do it, like, don't do it, it's not good for you, it's not worth it, it's, like, I feel it right here, like, like, it's, it's not a good decision to do right now. And, um, I gotta listen to my gut, I gotta listen to my intuition, because, um, you know, I had plans for my life. I had plans to do YouTube full-time, to concentrate on putting out videos for you all, getting closer to my, to my, uh, followers, and I consider you all as friends, and I just... I want to have time for that. I love doing YouTube. I love doing content. And I want to, you know, be able to have time to do that for you. Because if I go back to work, I'm not going to have the time. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be just, I won't have, in other words, any time during the day to do whatever I want. So, yeah, I made the decision. I I changed my mind. I, I you know I know my husband's not happy with that decision, but I feel I for a couple reasons. My knee. All right, it turned off again. What is going on with this camera? It keeps turning off. And it wasn't even twenty minutes yet. Okay, sorry. Ah, no. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I made the decision. I, I think that um, because I don't want to ruin my knee any worse than it is, I want to, um, and I need the, I want the time to spend with you all more. And, uh, yeah, because I know what's going to happen, you know, and plus I want to be home for my mom. That's the main reason I don't want to leave her alone at, at home while I'm working and uh you know if something happens like her diaper needs to be changed and everything oh well, who's gonna do it I won't be home until probably 11 or something so I I really kind of feel torn because one hand, I'm getting the hours I want, you know, the days I want, but in the other hand, I'm a, I, I know that I'm going to have a hard time standing up for four or even six hours, four hours straight or six, even six hours because my knee is not in good shape. So I don't know. I hope I don't regret this decision, <laughs> but I, uh, Something just tells me I've been I've been torn for a few days now and been pushing and pulling like okay I'll do it no I won't no I do it yeah yeah I just been very very torn and I feel I'm getting the feeling the intuition that it's not going to be a good decision that it's honestly it's not going to be a good decision because I don't know I just feel like something might happen either with my mom or with me I feel like if I'm yeah, I don't feel comfortable in other words going and um, yeah so yeah I made my decision I'm not going to go to Home Depot and I want to you know do I do want to apologize to her 
you know, she goes through email. So I do want to apologize with her and I do want to, um, express my gratitude for hiring me, for picking me out and, and that I will come, come back and reapply when my life is more in order. Just to say that because you know, you never know when you need a job and you want to be respectful and nice and I want to do it early because I was supposed to go in for six. I should have done it yesterday, but I was still torn about it. So, um, yeah. And why is my dog sitting out in the rain? Look at, she's just like sitting out chilling in the rain. <laughs> But, yeah, that's my decision. And I know that hubby, I don't know what she's looking at. Oh, she's looking at somebody in the park. Um, I know he's not happy. But, you know, I got to do what's best for me. And I'll continue um, pushing through, persevering through to make more content. I'm going to try to upload twice a day if I can, but just give me some love on these videos. Push the like button, you know, describe. Yeah, subscribe. It's free. Subscribe to my channel. You don't have to, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, people. So definitely subscribe to my channel and yeah, that will help me out tremendously. And uh, per, I've got, these are, I know I'm going through a struggle now, but I will persevere and I will make the money I need to make so I don't have to go back to a real job. And I don't want to because I love being free. I love to be able to make my decision what I want to do and where I want to go. So please help me out in to to, to to develop those goals, to make it reality, help the girl out and hit that like button and um, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and um, I'm trying to listen to all your comments and then once I get, I think I might have enough because I did have money in my PayPal from selling paparazzi and um, I think with my friends or uh, my ex sister in law's donation, I might be able to get some bathing suits for you all to do a bathing suit haul. So I'm gonna check that out and see if I have enough money. Because it was $108, the ones I picked out with a $25 discount. And I might have enough money now to be able to do that. So let's see. But yeah, so I'm gonna be vlogging today during the day. I know this is probably gonna be a long vlog but yeah I made my decision mm hmm I did made my decision mm hmm so I'm making some breakfast I'm making hash browns do you believe one cup of hash browns shredded hash browns are only 70 calories what yes I love it so I am going to pick out something, I don't know, I had the pancakes yesterday, and you know what, I really enjoyed them. So I think I might have these pancakes again. And I did make an egg to go along with them, but I really like these pancakes. So I'm not gonna do that, but I will do a video on what I eat in a day with Nutrisystem. And I think I'll start that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is my breakfast. And believe it or not, this is legit. These are the pancakes from Nutrisystem, which you have right here. But I, I count, they have an app, so I count all these calories in for the day. So don't you worry, I'm still staying on track even if I have this. Because all this is 70 calories. Each egg is 70 calories, and that's two of these is 150, and I'm not having any extras. But I like my big breakfast in the morning, and then in the afternoon, it'll be late. All right, so let's try this together. This 
is going to be a lot of food. But whatever I don't eat, I won't eat. But I like eating a big breakfast and then something small. Mmm. But believe it or not, a cup of hash browns is not, it's only 70 calories. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Really good. Yesterday I had the same thing except I had one egg. I need your protein too. Because there's no way that two little pancakes is going to be enough for me to till snack time. I like my protein. Hmm. So, we'll see you in a few. Now I'm in my room. Look at this little guy. I want to. I want to make my bed. I we got it really nice, and I want to make my bed. Look at her. She's like, "Mommy, what are you doing in your room?" But this guy is sleeping, so I might make my bed a little later. And yes. All right. Now. I'm going to do the email for Home Depot now. I can make it work. I made it work so far. And, um, you know, it's all because of you guys. You know, the little bit I make on YouTube, it's all because you watch my ads. And I appreciate that greatly. I really, really do. It's from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do appreciate it. So I'm just going to... Email this lady now so it won't be last minute. Um, I'm praying that um, when I am ready to, if I need to, have a job that she will hire me. All right. Now I'm going to go hop in the shower, take a nice hot shower, and we'll see you in a little bit. I was just, um, I'm going to show you, but I was just reading my tarot, and I'm learning how to do that, and it was really, really good. Um, I'm definitely going to show you my decks of tarot um, uh, and angel cards, so I'll do a whole video on that for you. And yeah, now I'm going to go take a shower. I got something. I took my shower. I feel great. And guess what I got? I got my crystals from Chris Star. Um, I'm a big crystal fan. I love, love, love my crystals. As you can see, look at. And I have crystals in here. So let's unbox. Okay, this. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her. You have to go on her, or her hair got stuck on here. <laughs> um, go on her um, SD, SD, SD. Um, shop. It's uh, Crystal Line Soul. It is amazing. So let me see if I can open this up. She really, really 
pack this really good. So happy. You know, I, you know, definitely love, you know, her videos, all her videos. And I can relate so much on what she, you know, is going through and stuff. And I just, I just love her. And I do love my crystals and you have to check her out on YouTube. Her name is Chris Star. She is a mate. I love her. She does have some haunted videos, but also some different things too, which is amazing. If I can get this. I don't want to hurt anything. Got it. Let me see if I can, okay, see. So you can see what I'm doing here. I am, I thought I was, <laughs> I tape things up like this. Now I don't know how to open it. I'm going to be opening this up uh, half. Okay, I'm just opening it up, whatever. You know, I am so. <laughs> so happy now each um of the crystals i have you know i love oh my god look at look at how cute okay let me put this up here mm -mm. oh my god look at how adorable oh, look at this is how it's wrapped oh my god i love this this is so cute. I'm telling you, she is so sweet. Look at how adorable this is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh look at. Okay. Look at how cute this is. The little wrapping. Um, I love this. Look at this. The star. Oh. Love this. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. I'll put her information down in the description. So you have to check her crystals out. She handpicks her crystals. So, like, she knows what she's talking about with crystals. She's very, very, very spiritual person. You can't go wrong. I trust her 100% with the crystals I choose. So look at how cute. Oh my God, I can't wait to see them. I um, always loved crystals, even when I was young and everything else. Um, but I, I'm gonna actually keep this packaging. I really love it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see what I got. Oh, oh my God. This is a rain, now this is hand-picked. It's not gonna be perfect. Oh, uh, oh, I have to, I have it, um, oh shoot, I have to check on my phone to show you, but this is what I got, it's a rainbow, um, crystal, oh my god, look at how cute, I I'll tell you the meanings in a minute, and definitely, it's crystal, um, lime soul, look at how cute, I'll put her information, but this has a meaning. I'll tell you all the meanings. I'm just going to show you right now. This one is called, I know for sure, called Fool's Gold, but it has a specific meaning because, like, you only pick out what you really, oh, and you could feel that it has ridges. Oh, my God, I love this. This is hand Peru and made it's from Peru it's from Peru that's where my husband's from this is a, a, a crystal stone and I'll tell you what that means I'll just gonna go up on my oh I love this it's worth worth it I love it love it love it and then 
of course this beautiful oh, i love this i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the stuffing it's look, look at how cute these are oh i love crystals and i'm gonna get into crystals myself um definitely check her out for these crystals um i'm gonna make start making crystal candles but ooh, look at this has like a rainbow uh, holographic effect. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is my new crystals. Okay, so let me go on my phone and tell you which each of these mean. And look at how cute this stuffing is. I'm keeping the stuffing. I'm keeping it. I wasn't going to be doing an unpacking, a re, you know, right now, but since I'm here, so let me go on her shop and I'll tell you what these are all about because there is a significant meaning why I get things. I always get things with a certain meaning. Okay. All right. Oh, let me get this. All right. So let me get onto her shop. I definitely love her shop. And, you know, oh, I love that. All right, let's see. Okay, um, okay, <laughs> okay, let me let me um look for her. Show. <laughs> let's see, oh, Chris. Crystal line. Um, soul. Oh. Yeah, that would help if I put like another L. Crystal line. Soul. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to find her shop here. Because there's a lot of people that sell crystals. But I want to support my fellow YouTuber. Um, okay. Let's see, I had recent review, um, reviewed items so I can pick up, get her into our shop easier. Okay, so let me get into her shop. She also has these little boxes with crystals, which I want to get like a mystery box type thing. I'm sorry, but this keeps going out on me. I don't know why. Okay, I found her shop. So let me, um, I know, I know. Uh, I like the towers. Oh, this is a rainbow aura thing. That's oh, I love that too. Oh, she has some really cute stuff. Mm. Let's see where is okay. I got um, I believe this is what I got. Rainbow aura. Um, uh, it's this. Let me hold on. Hold on. Okay, there's different forms here I got that one and this one I already have that um let me get you the deets I got the smaller one um so the details on this it's the strong healing powers of okay pre pres light 
P-R-A-S-I-O-L-I-T-E, can transfer lower vibration energies to higher frequencies and turn negative energy to good energy. Uh, Paris light radiates the energies of love and inner vision. It is a highly spiritual stone that manifests your spirit, spiritual ideas into your everyday life. So I got a small one of these. Um, this is hand selected individually by Chris. Please keep in mind that each stone is a natural element, mother or former mother of earth, and you're pu purchasing a natural piece from her with its own personality and energy and, and beautiful imperfections. Each pill will vary in size and shape. So that is this one, which is awesome. And I have, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my jar. Now I have my cat up here. So, that one is is awesome. So let me let me see which one is. Hey, get up! Okay, this one is the high quality pyrite. Sorry about this. This one, okay, is this, okay. Um, high quality drusel parite fool's gold it's called it's heavy too and the details on this it's really big too Pyr pyrite is a shiny brass color stone often used for abundance confidence and protection it's also known as fool's gold because it's color and metallic luster it have sometimes caused people to mistake it for gold it is known as a powerful prosperity stone, attracting luck and wealth, which I need. <laughs> Each stone in my shop is, you know, hand-selected, blah, blah, blah. And pieces are approximately 1.25 to 1.5 times 4 to 5 inches. You know, reference from the photo. But that is for good luck. Prosperity, confidence, abundance, protection, everything. I definitely need that. It is so nice. I love that. That is uh, lovely. Okay, I got that one. All right, let's see what other ones. I'm trying to find... Oh, she has Paleo Santo. I need to get a, um, a necklace, too. Do I have... Okay, hold on. I um, want... This one is... Which one is it? <laughs> now i got to find it. Oh, the skull pyre, pyrite. The same thing as this. But it's a skull, skull. This one's so... This one's so cool. Look at this. It is a skull. What? I love this. I love, love, love. That is so cool. And this one is, oh, sorry again. Uh, I, I definitely want to get that. Um, it's the same thing, abundance, prosperity, attracting luck and wealth. I'm trying to find the one that I bought. It's probably up here. I don't know. It be changed. Okay, Mom, I'll be right there. I don't know where this one is. Uh, I don't know where that one is, honestly. I have to find... You know what? Let me go into my cart. On what I bought. I don't know, does it show me what I bought? Okay, well, when I do find it, I don't know what which one is that one, no. But I had the, I had it, I had it. I'm going to check my car, check my, um, and, and tell you what it means. But that's what I got. I'm happy with my purchases. Definitely check her out. It is amazing. I... I, I love her. So I got some new crystals in my collection.
so cute. Okay, I got it now. I found out what it is. This stone is a Angel Uri, 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 Uri Holloway. Holloway is a stone used by many for its calming properties, a stone to balance the crown chakra by calming an overactive mind, soothing anxiety, easing restlessness, and encouraging tranquility. The Angel Era coating is not only beautiful and enchanting, it also amplifies the energy of the crystal. So that's what it is for calming. So I definitely need this in my possession. So... Love it. I gotta write down these. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that. This is ball form. Pretty cool, huh? Well, you can have a little stand. <laughs> for it. That's cool. Oh yeah, I have to do reviews on this. Um, all right, so that's what it means. I just wanted to come back on here and tell you. All right, so that's weird. Oh, I don't. You know, it's like this thing is not stable. It's like really weird. Okay. So I um, did email them and Tammy, the one that, and told her, you know, basically I'm, I appreciate the accommodating me with my hours and, you know, days and stuff. Um, but I, you know, don't, I don't feel right taking the job anyways too, I told her because of my knee. I don't want to start something and then have to leave it in a couple months. I know it'll probably help for those couple months, but then, you know, I have to worry about if, um, if they will allow me to get the knee operation, and I don't want to have to quit a job, um, like, short notice or whatever if they say no to me, because I really, you know, probably would like the job, you know, it's a cashier job, I would like it. It's just right now I can't stand on my 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 legs for a long period of time so I did that now I am going to edit one video for you all so that's it that's all I'm doing right now and I'm going to be eating lunch soon oh yeah Some of these, my hair looks crazy. Really, I think maybe my hair cut. <laughs> it really looks nuts. Oh my god. Look like a hot mess. As I do, I look like a hot mess. Oh, shoot. No. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oops. Sorry. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Now I gotta start over. Ugh. Well, I did find out... I have $85 in my PayPal. So it's not quite how much. I could get a few pieces of bathing suit pieces, 
but like I said earlier um, in this video, um, I'm going to put down my PayPal address and stuff, and whoever donates, you know, for to support the channel, it'll be greatly appreciated because I'll definitely be able to do bathing suit hauls more and uh, clothing hauls more. Also, I saw some people going into the stores trying on clothes and telling you how they feel and what they found. And I uh, was thinking that would be a cool idea too. Yes. All right, so I got my thumbnail. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna edit a video for you and put it out. And then I'm gonna check um, on a few pieces. So I'm excited. So I'll check on a few pieces. Um, I have $85. So I can probably get a few pieces for that price. So at least I could do a mini haul. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? So, I mean, because when, when I was looking yesterday and picked all the pieces I want, it was with $25 off, this is at Sheen, it was $108, and I had like eight pieces. So, not too bad for eight pieces of swimwear. So, I'll check and see how many pieces I can get for $85, and um, definitely, like I said, you know, every little bit helps. Um, and I'll just throw it right back into my videos. And I know people really want these hauls. Like I keep saying is, uh, people really like them and I'll be able to afford it. Um, now, since I'm still not going to be working, because I thought I was like, what are you eating? This girl is, look at her, she's eating something. What are you eating? Oh no. What do you have in your mouth? Oh boy. I have to go check her out. She has something in her mouth. Janet, what do you have in your mouth? Can I have it? Can I have it? She's chewing on something. All right. I'll let you all go and we'll see you later. <laughs> Janet. Okay. I got up. I took a nap. I was tired. And why? I don't know. But got my coffee. Oh. Whew. So little girls outside. I am on here. Um I'm gonna purchase some bathing suits that um because i got a little bit of donation so i thank everybody thank you thank you thank you jen i'm so happy because i want to do a bathing suit haul for you guys so i'm going to go and purchase those But, yeah, I'm going to um, go downstairs and do a live. I was supposed to do a live at 2. Then my aunt called me, and then I told everybody I'm going to go live. I'll go live as soon as I, you know, um, do this. And actually, I'll, um, I'm going to put up a video. I'm going to... Uh, Go live, go live, go live. I really do love these. Oh, this is so pretty. That's so cool. I like this. <laughs> I 
I really do love that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and let you go. All right, now since I downloaded my video, it's working, now I gotta do dishes. Not too bad, because I did them twice yesterday. I should be keeping them up. So I'm gonna head over to do some of these dishes and clean the stove and then start some dinner. So my husband don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm cleaning off my stove and I got my dishes done. This one needs to soak a little bit more from last night, but I got it done. And yep, I'm just cleaning. Jeez. Cleaning the stove. Getting it nice and clean before. I don't like cooking on a dirty stove. Don't like it. It's not crazy. All right. I know it might not make sense to you all, but. All right. Did the other side already. I forgot to film it. I was like, what am I doing? You're missing it. Cleaning time. All right. Now. I'll do the knobs. All right. So now. Do this. Now we'll go on this side, and you go on this side, and you go, oh, I'm upside down. Oh boy, it's playing games on me. It's playing, it's playing. Okay, now I'm gonna put this away. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, I'm not gonna put it away. Mm -mm. I still have to go over here. Da, da, da. Okay. And. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay. This out here, this here. Oh my God, I'm upside down. Oh boy. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to be having you all upside down. Jeez. Mm -mm. <coughs> you is me. All right. Now that is done. Tell you once I get my knee operation and heal, I'll be, I'll be good. I'll be good. All right. Oh, now I'm going to cookie, 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 cookie. Da 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 da. All right. Uh oh, my battery is dying. All right, I'm gonna change my battery out and well, actually, I'm gonna put my baking. Heat that up to 400 for the salmon. Okay, I am relaxing. And that is it 
for my day. I hope you enjoy this daily vlog. Yeah, I have a little headache going on, so I end up not going live for my paparazzi. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just tired today and I have a headache, but yep. So we'll see you on the next video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and notification button. And stay safe out there and we'll see you on the next video.